Hi everyone, welcome to Stogie Geek Shorts. This is Will's top 10 list for 2015. On the lines via Skype, of course, is Mr. Will Cooper. Welcome, Will. Hey, Paul. How's it going? It's going fantastic, dude. I um, I see what your top 10 cigars are. I uh, have gone and tried to smoke as many as I could. So why don't you start us off with number 10. Uh, number 10 is a cigar that you and I both had on our list. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'll say this, we, we, we both did individual lists, and I think we both had very similar criteria. The cigars had to be released right. this past year. Yep. Um, but this one was one we had on both our lists, and it was the Romacraft Tobacco Neanderthal in the HN size, which was that Figurato size. Really cool Figurato size, too. Did this also have the flat um, cap and head on the cigar? Yes, yeah, so that's okay. the one where um, in the box you use the razor blade to kind of really just sl- kind of just yes. slice that thing right off. Um, and, you know, we talked about size mattering for our selections. And, and there were a few other offshoots, but this size was the regular production one. And I think it was the best one in there. I agree because I smoked it in a short Robusto, which also had the flat head on it. And uh, I liked this, uh, the HN size, right? Is that what he calls the size? The HN, HN. It's, yeah. that fig- it's that Figurato. Uh, it's a kind of a really unique Figurato. It is. It's a very unique shape and size and all that stuff. So yeah, that's good. It's a great, strong cigar, lots of flavor. Holds its strength, too. I think I've talked about that a lot on the mm-hmm. show. It's not going to lose its strength over time. Excellent. Number nine. Number nine um, is a cigar from Warp Cigars. And uh, it's coming out of El Titan de Bronze. And it's called the Don Renato. And the size I smoked was the Corona de- Deluxe size. Um, I don't think you've smoked Don Renato. But what you need to know about, and I know you like Warp Cigars. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I know you like some of the stuff out of, that came out of Miami. But what you need to know about this cigar, this is the uh, Warp blend that uses has more of a Dominican influence in it. So it's using a Dominican Corojo wrapper. It's got Nicaraguan binder, but it's 75% Dominican filler. Um, it's an absolute flavor bomb. A lot of people, I saw this cigar show up at the end, uh, and, end of the year list um, as well. There's a 5x46 Regalos, but I, I enjoyed the 5.5x42 Coronas Deluxe. I'm going to have to pick some of these up because Warped makes a lot of different cigars, and there's a good percentage of them that are just flavor bombs. And I could swear that there's Cuban tobacco in them. I mean, likely there isn't, right? But that's the kind of – I mean, he nailed that flo- flavor profile – uh, that you get from Cuban tobacco in, in some of his sticks. I have not smoked this one, so I'm going to go seek those out, Will. Yeah, um, I, I know they're floating around in a few shops down here, so if I remember, I'll, I'll bring some for you as well. Sounds good. Number eight. Casa Fernandez Anniversario Serie 2015, the LF Celine size. Uh, it's, a, it's based on the Casa Fernandez Anniversario blend, which uh, this is uh, the third year I've it's an annual release. It's the third year they've done this. It's a Nicaraguan Puro with all Aganoris or tobacco. And what you need to know about this cigar, uh, the LF Celine is a 6x56 rounded version of this cigar, which they have not released before. Um, I, I'll say this. I know there were a lot of cigars. Uh, people talked about Nick Malello's cigars. They talked about the Warp cigars that came out of Casa Fernandez. Uh, this is one of their own branded cigars, and I, I think it, they knocked it out of the park with this one. I, and I know I just sent this one to you as well. Oh, excellent. That was in the package I had to cut out of the mailbox, right? Yes, okay. yes. Uh, yeah, watch Stogie Geeks episode 174 for details. Of yes, Paul's it's a funny story. How he had to get this cigar out of the mailbox. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, which normally is not a challenge, but this time it was, uh, it was fun. And yep. interesting. Um, so this is a limited cigar, and you've done a good job, Will, and I, I know you didn't do this on purpose, but there's a pretty good mixture of price, size, regular production, and limited in your top ten list. Yeah, no, thank you. And I've tried this year to to not go after those Uber limiteds. Now, there's yeah. some limiteds, but really if the, I wanted to see if you were in any state, can you get your hands on that cigar, you know, as opposed to having to really chase it down. So right. I tried for the most – there were a couple that were a little harder to get than others, but for the most part, these were accessible cigars this year. Yeah, and Cosa Fernandez for me, as well as Warp Cigars, are two cigars that I, I have to order online. I mean, there's just no shop uh, anywhere near me that I would visit that has uh, these particular brands. So uh, I have to order them online. And with the amount of cigars that we are reviewing and the fact that I'm in very close proximity to two cigar stores that have a fantastic selection, I'm not often like like going to – 
order online, right? Yeah, and, and it's the opposite down here is that, you know, there are some cigars that have a more of a footprint here um, as opposed to, you know, they, you know, they have – you know, the, the, these have more of a footprint here, but it's also vice versa. Right. You know, there are some lines up there that you have more access to as well. Absolutely. Number seven. Uh, I think you smoked this one. I don't I did. remember if twice. You was. I smoked I it remember. twice. ECCJ 20 is by Illusioni. Great cigar. Great Love this cigar. cigar. Actually, Love this no, cigar. I haven't smoked it again. I did smoke it uh, once and reviewed it on the show, and it is a fantastic cigar. And I had forgotten that like, this cigar came out in 2015, so I'm glad it's on your list, Will. Yeah, uh, six and a half by forty-eight, kind of a short Churchill by uh, Dion. It's an old Nicaraguan cigar, and this cigar, when we were at the IPCPR in two thousand fourteen, uh, Stogie Santa and I got this cigar from Dion, and we had smoked it very early on, and we 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 really saw this as a a going to be a real great cigar, and uh, it, we it turned out that he was right on that. This was a this was a tremendous tremendous release, by it was probably the best release. Um, out of that Casa Fernandez factory this year, I, I thought it was it was a great cigar. Fantastic, number seven. Uh, number six actually. Oh, or, sorry, number six. That's what I meant. Uh, yep, number six. Um, this was probably a little more of a surprise on a lot of people's list, but a lot of folks who've tried this, I think they'll they'll concur. I'm not saying everyone will, but it was the Florida Silva Maduro Toro. Great cigar. I, by myself, yeah, I I am really I I, I find with Flores of Silver, folks either like the Connecticut or the Maduro. I like the uh, Connecticut better. I like this size, and I've smoked a, a a pretty good sampling of the Flor de Selva line, and I like their Connecticut. I, I tend to lean more towards the Connecticut's, but this size in the Toro was really really good in both Maduro and uh, the natural Connecticut wrapper. So. Yep, and they introduced the Toro this year, so it makes the list because it's a, gotcha. it's a, new, it's a new cigar. Now, and is this a Honduran Puro? No, it's actually not. Um, it uses a Honduran Habano Maduro wrapper and a Brazilian Matafina binder over Honduran filler. Gotcha. So, so the binders, it's a, yeah. Yeah, it's completely different than the Connecticut. Mm-hmm. So it's, it, it's, it's um, I, there may be some common tobaccos, but it shares a name only. And one thing about Maya Silva, what I love is they blend the cigar to the sizes. So when you smoke different sizes of the, whether it's the Florida Silva, Connecticut, or the Maduro, you're going to get a very different profile on each of them. Yeah, great stuff coming on Florida Silva. I'm happy to see them on your list. Number five, Will. Um, Casada Reserva Provada Robusto. Um, now, see, this is one I could not find. This is yeah. This is a little more. This was a little more limited. Um, it wasn't totally limited. Um, it is, this is a cigar that Casada unveiled last year, Pro Cigar in the Dominican Republic. Um, they're using a lot of 18 year old tobacco in this, in this blend. So they're, uh, they have 18 year old tobacco in the binder and, and, and part of the filler. Um, but they have it with an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper. I think this is one of the better, uh, Ecuadorian Connecticut's that came out last year. Um, I, they amped up the blend a little with the 18 year old tobacco with some Pennsylvania Lajero. Um, the size in particular I'm talking about for my list was a four and three quarter by 52 Robusto, which I thought was the bell of the ball there. This is a really, really, uh, it's a, it's a good cigar. It's, it's going to taste like a well-aged cigar, so it's not going to have any youngness. So it, it, it's a little more pricey. I mean, it, it gets into the 12 to $14 range, but excellent cigar. Well, pop quiz, what other cigar manufacturer release is releasing a cigar with 18 year old tobacco in it? 1502. 1502, Enrique Sanchez. Very good. That yep, should have uh, been a trivia question for like a prize. Will's going to send you one of all 10 that is on his list. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 that, would, that would be a cool prize pack, though. It would, it would be. It would be, yeah. I we'll think I get most of it, yeah. Number four. Um, this one you're going to disagree with me on the size, but mm. I think you may you may not argue too much on the blend, but – um, you may argue, uh, but the size I think will differ on. It's the Cubanacon HR Sublime, and that is the big uh, six and a half by fifty-four size of this cigar. And I liked uh, the six by fifty-two Toro. Yes, you did. Okay. Yeah, well, and good. I know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like you said, the, this blend is great, and size matters, and uh, size is a personal preference. You know, Will's gonna like a size, and I may like a different size, 
Um, but we agree on the blend. It is very special. I agree. Yeah, and, and kind of like the Avo uh, Synchro. Yes. This, this, this is a blend that smokes better in big ring gauges, mm -hmm. which we've talked about quite a bit. Number three. You got, well, I already know you disagree with this one. I do. Pretty but, strongly, actually. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're pretty opposite on this cigar, Will. Uh, yeah, and I think I mentioned there's some cigars, I, I guess, that you will fit your flavor profile and other ones don't quite. Mm -hmm. But um, the Matilde Oscura, I mean, Toro Bravo, to me, was a, a, a an excellent cigar. Um, now, make sure when you go find the cigar, it's the Matilde Oscura. This has a green band, green colors on the band. There yep. is a Matilde Toro Bravo, but that's in the regular line. Right, and this is a, yeah. I shouldn't say regular. Green. Well, I don't know if they call it. It's not regular line. It's Renaissance. Their own, the yeah. Renaissance line. Renaissance, yep. okay. Yep. Uh, also a six and a half by 54 Toro. Um, and, I, again, this is a size. And you did smoke the Toro Bravo, so but I, I did think it smoked better in the big ring gauges. Um, a lot of people had this list very high. Um, it, it did make a lot of people's lists. I have seen a little bit of a polarizing reaction. I have I have heard a couple of people. I I did a Cigar Federation year end show, and there were a couple of naysayers with this cigar too. So it may have you know it may, it wasn't for everybody, but there were a lot of people who liked it. I happen to be one of them there. Excellent. Number two. Uh this is a very special cigar, and this, it, we shared on both of our lists. Yeah, um, Debonair Thirty Third Maduro. Um, it's a new size in the Maduro line, and what you need to know about this cigar, 9 by 50 A size. It's the long-awaited A size uh, in the Debonair Maduro line. This is the best A size cigar that I've ever had. Yeah, I, I would agree with that as far as large cigars go. And on uh, the most recent Stogie Geek show, I reviewed a 10 by 60. You can hear what I thought about that. Um, but this, I agree, Will. I mean, as far as A sizes go, yeah, it's 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 the best. You know, this was a more limited one, so this is a little more tough to get. Mm -hmm. But it was so – I thought it did so much for what an A size could do. Yeah, I know Phil is a sponsor on this, but what I'll, I'll tell anyone, like I always is, pick up this cigar and tell me if you disagree with me on this or not. Um, what I loved about this is it, it amped down the Maduro blend just a, a tiny bit. And I think it made it a smoother, more enjoyable cigar uh, in that blend. No, I agree. What's your smoking time on this? About two and a half hours? Two about hours two and a half. Yeah. Yeah, about two and a half, two and 45. Okay. I know when I reviewed it, it almost went three. But, yeah, I've had a uh, – I got to get more of these. This is a limited run, by the way. So, uh, yeah, make sure you pick these up. Yep. And now, drum roll, please. Will Cooper's number one cigar of 2015 is – the Padron 50th Anniversary Maduro. Yeah, and I don't think many are going to disagree with you, except maybe now, for me who like the natural better, but most normal, that, most normal people aren't going to disagree with you, right? No, um, <laughs> you know, and the natural was a top 15 cigar in my book too. So, that, mm -hmm. but, but the Maduro, I mean, I know Stogie Santa was on my, my side with this one, um, but there are people, you know, it's Padron's always going to be, is natural and Maduro, and it's it's going to be you know yeah, potato it's, potato. It's your, yeah, your your palate. Um, yeah. So this cigar is the one that comes in the humidor, correct? The one that comes in the humidor. Um, they originally were going for 106 bucks, yep. but um, that was factoring in the price of that luxury humidor, which I paid 106. Had that cigar not been made available at a at a more affordable price, because mm -hmm. what happened is the retailers started um, getting refills and. Um, just not factoring the humidor price. It, it came down to about a forty dollars cigar, which, more, not saying it, it. That's not cheap, but it's, it's not, not one hundred and six, right? But but it enabled me to buy some more mm -hmm. because if it was one hundred and six, one cigar I can't make a cigar a year on one smoke. No, no, and, and it, we, I, it'd be hard to recommend something that is consistently selling for one hundred and six dollars. But you're right now, you can find these a lot more uh, affordable. Well. Affordable compared to 106, 40 dollars still a lot of money for a single cigar. But if you want a special cigar and you want to uh, spend a little more or a lot more than what you normally spend on a cigar and have that one special cigar, you can't go wrong with this Padron 50th or really any of the Padron um, anniversary or family reserve uh, cigars. Right, and like I said, that Natural's excellent. I mean, I think the Natural's the best Padron Natural I've had in that 50. So it, that is a great cigar as well. Excellent. Well, that concludes our list. You can find Will's complete list of the top 30 
cigars from 2015 on our website, cigar-coop.com. Click that Cigar of the Year, pull down and go to 2015, and you can find Will's list of top cigars all the way going back to 2009. And I tell you what, when I first started like really getting into cigars, I went to a lot of websites and I read a lot of top lists, and Will's was certainly one of the ones that I would read. And here's a tip. Go read those lists. Read up on those cigars on that list. Find the ones that you think you're going to like the best. Read the reviews. Then go to your local brick and mortar and say, hey, I'm interested in these cigars. And sometimes, and that's really how I develop some relationships is sometimes they'd be like, oh, well, you know, we don't put this cigar out. Like, how did you find out about that cigar? And I'm like, well, you know, I did a lot of homework. And I did my research on it. And you'll be rewarded by them saying, oh, okay, you know, you can, you can buy some of these. So it's almost like access to the vintage room uh, in uh, a lot of shops. Because the cigars that Will has for like 2009, right, they have some age on them. And if they're limited, they're going to be really hard to find now. So... And some of the retailers may be very glad to get rid of some of them, too. Absolutely, Just absolutely. Not bad, not bad cigars, but look how much has hit the market in, in seven years. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. That's a great point, Will. Well, thanks, everyone, for watching Stogie Geek Shorts. Uh, that was Will's top ten list for 2015. You can check out the Stogie Geeks every week at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time at stogiegeeks.com forward slash live. You can watch the show live and chat as well as keep up on all the latest cigar reviews and news at cigar-coop.com. Thanks, everyone, for watching.